Okay, so here's the review question for lesson 4.4. Four. Um, so word problem, and we're going to want to draw a diagram. This is the one that includes the uh, directions, right? So it says this, an airplane passes over an airport and continues flying on a heading of, so when you see heading of, and you have this here, that's when you kind of want to get, at least in your mind, maybe sketch it out here, north, east, you know, south, west. And this direction is, it, it refers to a line that starts at the center point, and then it, you start at the north direction right here, and then you go 70 degrees towards the west direction over here. And so that would look something like a boat like this, right? So let's say that here's the airport, and the airplane is flying over the airport, and it goes for three kilometers here. So we know from what we're given that this is 70, because it's north and then 70 degrees west, right? That's where this line is drawn. We also know that this is 20, because they have to add up to 90, right? The airplane then turns left and flies another two kilometers until the airport is exactly due east of its position. So when it says it turns left, you can't assume that that's a 90 degree turn. So it just turns left and drives, uh, drives <laughs> flies this way for two kilometers. So you can draw a little two kilometer there until it is exactly due east of uh, the airport. And so you think about it, here is the airport, right, A. And now the plane right here, P let's say, is due east. The question is, what's the distance between the airport, air plane and the airport to the nearest tenth of a kilometer? So we're looking for PA here, right? Plane to the airport. We don't know what this is. Okay, so I don't know how many of you got that part set up. Hopefully you're able to, uh, to do that much. This is half the problem right there, just getting the uh, diagram, because the math here, it turns out, is not that difficult now. So uh, make sure you have your directions right. Please make sure you sketch it out and uh, try and fill in all values that you can determine here, like this 20, right? That's pretty important. That wasn't given, but we're able to figure that out right away. Now I'm just going to redraw this, this uh, triangle real quickly here, just at a larger scale. That's two, and that's three here. So we don't know what this angle is, but we know what this angle is, right? And we're trying to find this distance down there. Okay, so any guesses? What are we, what law or what, you know, uh, fact, uh, rule are we able to use to start to piece together this triangle? Yeah? Okay, sine law, I like it. I like it a lot. So we've got an angle here and we've got a, the opposite side length. That's really, really good. Um, and then we've got a side length here. So I can find uh, this right here, angle P, I guess that's going to be. I can find angle P using the sine law. Perfect. P for perfect. Okay, so if we do sine of 20 degrees relates to the side length of 2, because that's opposite, so you always put those together. That's going to equal sine of P over three. All right, so there's those pairs. The sine of 20 pairs with two. The sine of P pairs with three. Uh, and then we solve for that. Solve for P. So the first step is to multiply both sides by three. Okay, so that's going to go there. And then we can jump on our calculator here. It'll look like this. 3 times the sine of 20. Make sure your calculator is in degrees, of course. Close the bracket there. Divide by 2. You can do it all at once. You should get 0.513. So 0 0.513 is equal to sine of P. So this isn't the angle measure, right? We need to now do second function sine. So remember, very important for the test tomorrow that this is how you get rid of the sign. You do the negative one, right? That kind of undoes the sign, and that's how we get P all by itself. You learned that uh, in previous math classes. So second function, whoops, second function sign. And then, again, whenever you can, just put the whole decimal in there. You, you might have an answer button, please use that. 
So we get 30.86588, okay? So I'm going to, again, use as many of the decimal places during the question as you can. It's a general rule, so at the very end when you round, you can be sure you're exactly right. All right, so that's good. We've got, we've got P here, right here. We've got that value, and it would be good, this value here, I guess, and it would be good to find this one. Then we could use the sine law again, couldn't we? So how do we find this angle right here? Anybody? How do I find this angle? I've got this as 20, and now I know this. Right, subtract them all from 180. Okay, so what does that equal? Well, 180 minus 20 minus our previous answer with all its glorious decimal places, 129.13. Or even one three four. Okay, everyone with me so far? Yeah. Any questions so far? We're almost done. Okay. So just sign law. It's all we're using here, and then we can we're going to be done here real quick. Okay. So um, I'm trying to find a side again. It doesn't matter if you put the sign of the angle on top and the value of the length of the other side on the bottom, or the other way around. It doesn't really matter. Sometimes the book says in one place there, if you're trying to find an angle like I was over here, then you can put the angles on top. It's just less manipulation. Um, but you don't have to. It doesn't really matter at all. So I'm going to put the sides on top here now. I'm going to go, this PA side is going to be divided by the sine of 129. And I can use either pairing. I'm going to use the 20 and the 2 pairing again. So that's going to be 2. Because if you have the side on top on one side, you have to have the side on top on the other, divided by sine of 20. And then all we need to do here is multiply both sides by this. And then you should come up in your calculator. Uh, so 2 times the sine of, I have my, my answer right there. I'll put my answer from the previous calculation in there. And close the bracket, for sure to close the bracket, because you don't want to take the sign of, of all of this. And then divide by, <coughs> excuse me, sine of 20. Okay, so you get PA is about 4.5358. 4.5358. The question actually says to round to the nearest tenth of a kilometer. So these are all kilometers. So the distance, again, it's a word problem, so good idea to have a word answer. Distance from airplane to airport is 4.5 kilometers. And that's to the nearest tenth of a kilometer. Okay, so that's one answer. You're right. Someone pointed out that uh, a left could be a hard left turn, and it could be really doubling back almost um, towards the airport. And that is exactly true as well. So let's redraw that triangle. And let's, uh, let's just see if that's going to be plausible. So good for you guys to notice that. So here's the three. Um, we counted this one, right? But would this also work here? Would that also work? Well, this is two, and it looks like we still could have a triangle here with a, a distance that's quite a bit less, right? So that's great. So we have this triangle here, the large triangle, but we also have this smaller triangle as well. Okay. So how can we, uh, how can we do that one? Is, do we have to start all over again? Or can we use some of the values that we've, uh, that we've already figured out here? Still have the 20, good. Yeah. Do I know anything else over here? Did I ever find this uh, angle? Oh, didn't we? Oh, okay. So watch this. So this one was 30.865, right? Okay. So a little bit of a shortcut here. This is an isosceles triangle, isn't it? 
right? So this little triangle here, if you look at the green triangle, we've already figured out this angle, so you don't have to start from scratch. <coughs> you know that this right here is 30.8 whatever. <coughs> so this angle right here can easily be found, right? Okay, see that? So you don't have to start right from scratch. You can use uh, the values that you've used already. So what's this one going to be? Let's see. It's going to be 180 minus this, 30.865. Clear everything out here. 180 minus 30.865. And 149.135 is our answer there. So this is 149.135. Okay, so if we find this angle here, then I could find out what this side is here as well. Right? And this is our second P to A. <coughs> okay, so you um, find this value right here to be that 10.865, and now you can set up your sine law and find for this, uh, this other possible side right here. Okay, set up your sine law and perform this calculation on your calculator, see what we get. So 2 times uh, sine of the uh, answer there. Is 1.10. So looks like the other possible option for the distance if they took a hard right is 1.1 kilometers. So there's your second possible answer. So I guess this one has two possible answers. All right, do those answers check out with the uh, solutions in the back? Okay. All right, so we'll have to look at those questions carefully, draw your diagram, and um, yes, it could be a hard left here too. So um, if that's a possibility, then make sure you uh, look over the question again and check your diagram and know that in this section for sure, in this chapter, we could have multiple answers with ambiguous case. Okay, good. Any other questions or comments or notes on this one? This question, we're, go we're good with this question though? Okay, so that's number eight on your review.